Hi guys, and welcome to In Two Minutes, the show that is usually about video games. But as you may have noticed, we are suffering from something of a sunny, summery drought right about now. Thankfully, while the video game industry takes a nap, those crazy kids in Hollywood are raising the roof with all kinds of exciting movie things. I hear that Marvel Cinematic Universe is kind of a big thing, and so far this year we've already had Age of Ultron. But luckily, 2015 is big enough for two superhero movies, especially when one of those heroes is this big. So what is this? An in two minutes for ants? Well, kind of. Given his size. You may not have paid much attention to Ant-Man, so you may be surprised to hear that he's been helping save the world in comics since the early 60s. So now that he's set to, and pause for effect again, become huge thanks to his own blockbuster movie, it's definitely worth taking the time to clue yourself up on the character. So let's ask the question then, who is the Ant-Man? That was a dumb question in the movie It's Scott Lang. But Scott Lang isn't the only person to take on the ant mantle. The first was Hank, played by Michael Douglas, Pym, who shows up in the movie as Scott's mentor. Pym is a brilliant biophysicist who discovers a weird group of subatomic particles that he names Pym particles. From these, he synthesized two serums. One shrinks objects and people, and the other embiggens them back. After one shrinking spell leaves him trapped in an anthill, which is a problem I think we can all relate to, Pym finds himself fascinated with the creatures. He constructs a cybernetic helmet that allows him to communicate with the bitey buggers and fashions a suit infused with the Pym particles to allow him to shrink down. And thus, an Ant-Man was born. A skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant and a certified genius, his prolonged exposure to Pym particles eventually allowed him to shrink to the size of a, well, I think you know the answer to this one, at will. The bonus is the smaller he gets, the stronger he gets. Don't think about that part too much. It's kind of like how Peter Parker gained the proportional strength of a spider when he became Spidey. And of course, it wouldn't be Marvel without a character having a few alternate aliases. Hank also becomes Wasp after his wife Janet Van Dyne dies. Then there's Goliath and Giant Man, where he uses the Pym particles to vastly increase his size. Now, despite Ant Man being Hank's first appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, he's been an incredibly important character in the comics. Not only were he and Janet founding members of the Avengers, Hank also created Ultron. You know, that sentient robot Tony Stark made in the movie universe, the one that was all There are no strings on me. And then just started destroying everything. After Pym, two more people have been Ant-Man. There's S.H.I.E.L.D. agent Eric O'Grady, who nabbed the Ant-Man armor from S.H.I.E.L.D. stores for his own personal gain, including trying to use it to get the ladies. And then there's Scott, Crapbag from Friends Lang. An electronic expert and petty criminal, he's trying to get his life together to save his sick daughter. And the best way to get your life together is, of course, to put on a fancy suit and become an ant. Now, I don't want to go much deeper for risk of movie spoilers, but at least now you have a basic grasp on the Ant-Man character and how he fits into the wider Marvel Universe. That's all from me this week, but you can find me on Twitter at LucyJamesGames, although I'll be spending the majority of my days talking to an ant farm and seeing where that gets me. I'll see you next time. i do that again without as much puzzle face. Exciting movies. I don't really write that, that doesn't sound like me. I'm not usually that excited about things. Who is Scott Lang? Kids, who is Ant Man? <laughs>